Happy Monday, everybody. This is Patricia Elizabeth. Hopefully you're doing well. I am super excited to be here. So hopefully you've all had an amazing weekend. So welcome, everybody. This is Patricia Elizabeth. Happy to have you here. So I think I'm in on live. So awesome. So if you're watching the replay, you may want to skip forward to the three minute mark because that's when I'm going to get started. Because as you know, there's always delays for Facebook to let people know that I am on live. And if you're watching this live, go ahead and let me know in the comments that you are live. I am excited for today's episode for reawaken your inner healer. And today I'm going to talk about permission, how that's holding you back. And I know for some, quite a few of you, this was something that actually held me back for the longest time. And I know for quite a few of you, it's holding you back. And for some of you, it's holding you back from making more money or maybe keeping money or maybe stepping into your gifts. So I am super excited to be doing that. So let me just go double check to make sure that I am on live. I said I will get started in about two more minutes here. I just want to give people a chance to come on live. So hopefully you're all getting notifications that I am on live. And of course, my laptop's a little slow. And wow, well, and first thing I open my Facebook, I see my little nephew is nine months old. can't believe how time flies back. So if you're watching me live, go ahead and let me know in the comments by commenting that you are live. If you're watching the replay, let me know below as well that you are watching the replay. Uh, don't just click on the love button. I know for some of you, you may not be able to comment and that's fine. But if you're able to comment, go ahead and comment below to let me know that you are on live. Or even if you're catching the replay, let me know below as well. So I'm just going to just want to make sure that I'm on live here. I do apologize. Okay, so I am on live. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're just a few people live. So go ahead and let me know in the comments that you are live with me. Or click on the love button if you're not able to... Um, comment because I know sometimes you're not able to comment so let me know and I'm just going to tag a few people here who told me that we're going to show up live just to make sure they get notification here so we'll get started in about another minute here so once again hopefully you've all had an amazing weekend I can't believe we're already Monday so much to get done but that's fine um, perfect. So I'll just wait a little bit here. So, hey, Tina, how are you, my dear? We're due for a catch-up. Now that things are selling for me, let's catch up soon. So I'm just going to wait like another 30 seconds. We'll get started here. So, so today I'm going to be talking about permission and why for a lot of you it's actually holding you back. It's holding you back from stepping into your power. It's holding you back from either awaken or reawaken um, or expanding on your spiritual gifts. For some of you, it's actually holding you back from being able to make money. So, hey, Melissa, happy to have you here. So I am super excited. So I'm going to jump right in. So today I'm going to talk about permission and why it's holding you back from making more money as well as reawakening your inner healer. Because here's the thing. Let me ask you this question. Are you letting other people, are you waiting for other people's permission to go after your goals, to go after your dreams, to step into your power? Or is the only permission that you need, is it just your own? And let me know below, which one are you at? Do you let other people, are you waiting for other people's permission before you do anything? Or is the only permission that you need is your own? I'm curious to find out where you are, which one is you? Or are you kind of in between? For certain things, maybe the only permission you need is your own. And maybe for other things, you're waiting for other people's permission. Let me know in the chat below which one do you fall into, regardless if you're watching this live or the replay. I'm curious to find out where you are. Because here's the thing. The only permission you need is your own. And this took me a long, long, long time to step into that. 
because a lot of times I was waiting for other people's permission. Permission to go after my goals and dreams. Permission or approval as well. Permission to be able to do what I wanted to. No, I don't need permission. Awesome. Because or permission to, to start my business. Because the only permission that really matters is your own. And until you give yourself permission, obviously there's many factors, but until you give yourself full permission to go after your goals and dreams, your permission to putting you first, your permission to creating what it is that you want, for a lot of you is going to hold you back because you're looking for other people's permission. And for some of you, for permission, it may also be other people's approval. Because if you're waiting to get permission from your parents or your parents' approval, let me tell you, if that was the case for me, I would still be in New Brunswick and I honestly don't think I would be alive right now. I probably would have committed suicide. But I gave myself permission. I gave myself permission to go after my goals and dreams. I gave myself permission to do what I wanted to do. So if you're waiting to for other people's permission, like I said, it's going to hold you back. And there's there's no judgment, but I really want you to ask yourself, are you waiting for other people's permission? Are you waiting for other people's approval? Do you need other people's approval? Because for me, permission and approval is basically the same thing. I know there is a slight difference, but it's basically the same thing. So if you're waiting for other people's approval, you're going to hold yourself back. You're going to get out of alignment. You're not going to be able to show up as you because once again, you're waiting for permission. You're waiting for somebody to say, I approve. I give you permission. And then it's holding you back. And it's going to, it, it holds us back because we're waiting for them to get permission. So right now, I want you to start to give your consciously choose to give yourself permission that you're going to put you first. You're going to go after your goals and dreams. There's never been a better time than now than to start to um, make more money, maybe awaken, expand on your spiritual gifts. The time has never been better. Like we're in a perfect, in an energetic speaking, we've never had a better time than now to really step in fully. So give yourself permission. Let go of, and I know for some of you, some of you actually think that you don't need permission, but you do. And some of you really truly don't. And some of you do need permission or some of you depends on what it is. Now, there's nothing wrong with like, you know, and it's, and it's basic for a lot of us that we're looking to get permission. It's not really we need the permission, but it's kind of like a validation. But I'm going to encourage you to start giving yourself permission to go after your goals and dreams. Give yourself permission to step out of your comfort zone. Give yourself permission to create whatever it is that you truly desire. That doesn't mean there's not going to be roadblocks and there's other things that determine, yes, but for a lot of you is you're holding back because you're waiting for the permission, you're waiting for approval. And once again, that's just holding you back. There's never been a better time than now to go after your goals and dreams. And for some of you, you're already feeling it. You're feeling that that push, you're being pushed to get into your calling, to do what you're meant to do. Um, but once again, start giving yourself permission. Stop waiting for other people's permission or the need of approval. Start giving it to yourself. And then, like I said, obviously, yeah, jump in fully and there's other things. But today, I really wanted to talk about permission. Give yourself permission to say no when you don't, when you want to say no. How many of you here say yes all the time when you really mean to say no? I'm just curious. Let me know below. And there's no right or wrong answers, lady. Like, I sometimes will fall into this. Sometimes I'll wait for other people's approval. It doesn't last very much anymore. But how many of you, you're waiting? And I don't even know what I just said, but really start giving yourself permission. Stop waiting for other people to, to give you permission or to approve. Start going after what it is that you want. Because once again, when you're waiting for other people to give you permission or approval, 
it's, to me, it's basically the same thing. You're waiting for somebody's approval. You're waiting for their permission. Because when they approve of you, it's to give you permission. If they don't approve, m most people won't give you permission. So let me know below. And like I said, start by giving yourself permission. That you're going to start to do what you know. You're, 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 for some of you, you're being called. You're being pushed now to start to transition into your soul purpose, your soul mission. Because people need you now more than ever. But it, you need to give yourself permission. You need to step in fully and embody it. Give yourself permission. Never mind what other people think, want, do, lack of approval or permission or whatever. Because I've learned no matter what I do, there's always going to be people who are not going to approve. There's some people, they're, they're not going to like it. They're not going to like me. They're not going to approve of me. They, they, you know how many people when I came to Mexico tried to stop me from coming back to Mexico? There's quite a few people who are trying everything. <laughs> I didn't listen to them. I give myself permission to follow my heart. So really start by giving yourself permission. Start going after what it is that you want. And like I said, and I want you to write this down either in the comments below or on a piece of paper. I give myself permission. So I give myself permission to put myself first as well as my goals and dreams. And write it down. Now, if you don't have paper right now, that's fine. You can type it in and I ha don't ask me to repeat because I'm not sure what I just said because I'm channeling a lot of times. But write it down and embody that. Just keep telling yourself you don't need permission. As long as you're not breaking any laws, you're not harming anybody, you don't need other people's permission. Obviously, now there's free wills. You can't make somebody do something they don't want to do. That you do need their permission. You do need somebody's permission to go send them healing or all stuff like that. But when it comes to you, the only permission you need is your own. You don't need your parents' permission. Unless you're a teenager, you may need per your parents' permission for certain things. Now, some of you, if your parents are supporting you, you may need their permission for certain things. Because the condition for them supporting you is basically telling you what to do. That's, once again, that's up to you. I'm not telling you what to do. But start giving yourself permission to go after your goals and dreams. Stop letting other people's need of approval um, or anything holding you back. Because for a lot of you, that's holding you back. Um, let me just look at the comments too. Sorry. I'm not seeing the comments in one screen. So another screen. So I give myself permission to follow my dreams. Awesome. Because it's their own fears. Yeah. A lot of, so here's the thing. I've had a lot of people in my life. They mean well. And I have one person in particular. Beautiful person. But their comfort zone is really tiny. So they're afraid. And here I am. I'm, tr I'm Canadian. I'm living in Mexico. COVID's not stopping me. Now, obviously, certain things you need to, but it's the fear that is like preventing them. So start giving yourself permission. Because once again, no matter what you do or don't do, there's always going to be somebody. For some people, it's going to be their fear coming back. Um, for some people, it's going to be you don't want to be judged. That was huge for me, not being judged, especially when you're 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 in the spiritual realm, you're in the hoo hoo. For a lot of us, it's huge. I mean, I suppressed my gifts as a child because I didn't get permission from certain people. They actually encouraged me if I wanted to be loved and accepted unconditionally. I needed to suppress my gifts. Now it's like there's no, you can't suppress me. Even there's no way you can suppress me. So give yourself permission. Uh, learning to find my no yes. Start. I don't have a problem to say no anymore, but I still seek approval. And it's normal. I fall down all the time, guys. Like sometimes I'll say yes when I want to say no. Um, this is a, a learned progress. When you fall down, get back up. But really start to say no to what you want to say no to. And for some of you, it could be little baby steps. If you're used to saying yes to everything, start saying no to something really small. Somebody asks you if you want coffee. Don't say yes when you want to say no. Just start by saying no. No, thank you or whatever. Uh, and it's the little things. But start giving yourself permission, ladies and gentlemen, because the time has never been better than now. 
And I love those of you who are live for interacting. Yeah, give myself permission. Give yourself permission. Because really, you don't need to ask somebody else permission. Now, once again, if you're sending healing and you're sending to somebody else, you do need their permission, okay? You can't take somebody's free will away from them. But when it comes to you, give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to start to dream. For some of you, you don't know what dreaming is. Start dreaming. Give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to start taking the baby steps needed to make your goals and dreams come true. And for some of you, you're going to start to feel a nudge. Give yourself permission. Give, and I know I'm repeating it a whole lot, but I really want to drill it into your, your mind. Give yourself permission. Because really, the only permission you need is your own. When I start giving myself permission, my life has changed tremendously. I used to be the person I needed to be the perfect person. Um, I'm now living in Mexico, which is one of my magical spots. A lot of you know that because you've been in my world for a while and you've seen a transformation in me. But I'm living my soul's purpose. I gave myself permission. I gave myself permission to be a digital nomad. I now live out of a suitcase <laughs> and my backpack. And home is where my stuff is. It's where I go to bed at night. But I gave myself permission. I didn't let anybody else stop me. Now, I some of them, I listen to them. And we've come to an understanding that, you know what, this is who I am. And, you know, my happiness comes first. I give myself permission to be happy. I give myself permission to follow my heart, to follow my dreams. Give yourself permission. And for some of you, just giving yourself that permission, you're going to start to see shifts happening. Now, some of you, it's going to be a little, the shift may not be as big. And for some of you, your shift is going to be much, much, much better. But give yourself permission, okay? If I could do it all for all of you, I would give yourself all permission. But really, it's not my permission you need. It's your own. So let me know below what's come, what, what, what is an aha moment for you today. And if you're watching the replay, let me know below as well. And I'll try to come back and interact with the comments. But really, if I can just say one thing, give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to go after your goals, your dreams, putting you first. Give yourself permission to be happy. Give yourself permission to be in the flow. Give yourself permission to have whatever it is that you truly desire. Give yourself permission to make money using your gifts. Give yourself permission, whatever it is that you want, give yourself permission. And for some of you, I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to give you a little home play. For some of you, I'm going to encourage you, write down what it is that you want. And then say, I give myself permission to, for me, is getting paid while traveling the world. I give myself permission to step into my soul purpose or whatever it is that you want. But write down a list and give yourself permission for every single one. And write it down on an actual piece of paper. Let me just grab paper that's, that's blank. Because I'm working on a few projects. So I here. Write it down on a sheet of paper. I give myself permission. Write one thing down. I give myself permission. Write something else. Do that for a whole list if you can. Or even if it's a few things to start with. It's awesome. And maybe every day for those of you who have a hard time giving you permission, write it down every day or at least once a week. I give myself permission. And whatever it is that you give, you're giving yourself permission because when you start to embody that energy and you say it out loud and then you're, you're writing it down, you're sending a clear signal to the universe that you're giving yourself permission. And for some of you, you're going to notice a shift door. More doors are going to open up. You're going to get maybe more ideas. The nudge is going to start to come. Once again, for a lot of us right now, the veil is being lifted. We're going through a massive reset, a massive shift. And for some of you, it's going to be a struggle, but you don't need to struggle. So just give yourself permission to go after what it is that you want. Stop struggling. Now, it doesn't mean just because I've had somebody, well, your life is perfect. My life is not perfect, ladies. I struggle. I have my ups and I have my downs. I have my good days and my bad days. It's just my perspective is different. My mindset is different. My energy, for the most part, is different. Give yourself permission and then start watching for some of you what comes up for you. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's Facebook Live. <coughs> 
And I'm going to be coming in doing two Facebook Lives a week on my business page. Look out for that. Uh, I'll share more information. I'll share it and do a group when I go live. I just have to sit down and look at the thing. So I have a, a special limited time free invitation for all of you. So some of you know because you've signed up. And if you haven't signed up, then I am doing a three-day deep money transformational healing it's happening this thursday october 15 at 7 p.m eastern that is new york time montreal time uh, friday october 16 at 12 p.m eastern saturday october 17 at 3 p.m eastern i will for you will get to discover my isa money light code modality which is just transformational um, and it's not just the results I've gotten or my clients. Some of my practitioners, the results they're getting and their clients are getting is just phenomenal. So if you're ready to start to release some of your money blocks and start making more money, if you wish you could make or keep more money, or if you're sick and tired of struggling uh, financially, I'd love to invite you to join me in my upcoming free three day of deep money transformational healing. If you cannot attend live, that's fine. You will get a limited time replay or you can purchase the replays. Um, I'll be putting them for sale as well. And the reason you have a limited time is because this is actually paid work that I am doing. And I also want you to show up. So the link is on top if you are um, watching this on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube or Vimeo, the link will be below. As well as for those of you who are live, I'm going to post it in the comments. Um, but I would love to have you come join me if you're being called because once again, we're going to do a lot of deep clearing and it's going to be very, very powerful. The last time I ran this, like people were just like, oh my God. Um, so if you're being called to, I'd love to invite you to join. We joined this Thursday. Thursday, once the replay goes out, I will be closing the doors and the only way you'll be able to get access to it is, um, by paying for it after I open the doors. It will be happening via Zoom. I will not be streaming this inside the Facebook group, so you will need to sign up to be able to get either the Zoom link to attend live or to get the limited time replay. And once again, what, several reasons why I'm doing the limited time replay is A, this is paid stuff. This is stuff that people have paid me and people need to pay my practitioners to run this. I will not be running my free ISA Money Light Coast during this time. And two, when I do a limited time replay, I've noticed that m the vast majority of you actually listen to the replay, and especially when it comes to healing instead of, uh, I'll listen to it, whatever. So that is it. So let me know below for those of you, are you signing up for my three days of deep money transformational healing? Hopefully you are. And let me know what is your aha moment inside of here. So, and I just noticed 1222 where I am. And then I have a pop up that's saying two on one of my, I have two notifications. So yay. So like I said, let me know before and give yourself permission. You don't need anybody else permission, but start giving yourself permission and really start to like watch some of the magic that can happen for you. So Hopefully you've enjoyed today's Facebook Live. If you're watching the replay, comment below as well. And like I said, I'll be coming in live every Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern. There's one Monday I'll have to change the time because I'm changing Airbnbs, but that's in November. So I'll let you know in advance what time I'll be doing it. And I'll probably come in live this week to, um, to, to talk about money, some money blocks. Because there's, there's quite a few different money blocks. I'll come in sometime this week, but I'll post that in in fact. So if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to also come and join me inside my free group at Integrated Soul Activation with Patricia Elizabeth. The link will be below. And if you're in my Facebook group, you're already part of it, so you don't need to sign up. So wishing you all a magical day, ladies and gentlemen, and I will talk to you all very soon. Lots of love. Bye for now.